Hi everyone, it's Sandra the Naked Chef, and um, today I am going to make some creamy garlic scallops with um, broccoli rice, and you always start with your apron, make sure you're safe and clean, okay? Now, like the recipe says to... Um, Pat dry your scallops on a paper towel just so they're dry. And it calls for um, one and a quarter pounds of scallops. But like I just got like 12 because me and my boyfriend are just going to eat that much or something each, I guess. Six each. I figured that was enough. I don't know. It ended up being a little under a pound um, um, but, um, if your scallops are frozen, thaw in cold water and remove the side muscle from the scallops if it's attached and thoroughly pat dry with a paper towel, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I have my, um, uh, pan heating over here and I have my olive oil and it calls for a couple tablespoons and you heat it over medium high heat until it's hot and sizzling. Oh, it's probably going to be hot and sizzling right now because it's been heating for a while. Looks like it kind of medium high, maybe seven, something like that. Okay. Then, it tells you to put your scallops in a single layer. Um without overcrowding the pan and if you need to we will work in batches so you cook them um oh here i'm just gonna bring this over here i'm bring this over here uh, and then you cook them I think it's like 12. And that fits in my pan and get enough. It's not over crowning. It's good. There you go. So I cooked that for um, two to three minutes on one side. And then um, it wants you to have a golden crust formed. And then you do um, like uh, two minutes until crisp on the other side when it's light brown. And you want to season it to taste the salt and pepper. I'm just going to do a little bit, like, I just like strange whatever. There's that. And you have fresh cracked black pepper here. There we go. And we started on like 4.30, just about. So, two or three minutes. And then, so I'm going to have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm just preparing this right now while that is cooking. Let's see, it has a little marker. It's about half of this stick. Okay. And go. And um, I'm going to prep the garlic. It wants you to have like five cloves or so. I'm using uh, seven because my cloves are a little small. <clears throat> and it wants you to mince the garlic. So what you do with garlic is that you cut off like the end where it grows from. Toss it. And I'll do that with each one. Hmm. Okay. There we go. And then with each um 
piece of garlic, you smash it with your knife so that it's easier to get out of the shell. And you can also peel out the center piece a little better. Like if there's a green little center stem, you want to take that out because it's like bitter and you don't want bitterness in your food. So there. All right, it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna flip them. Where's my thing? Okay, let's flip them. All right. Kind of a little golden brown, but not like super brown. Same. Oh, fuck. Okay. No. Oops, that is fine. Come on, guys. No, come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit because I need to get a little more brown. Oh. Whatever. So I don't know I wonder if that guy got flipped yet or not. No, he didn't, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to get that plate ready. So then I can just scoot them off on there. Okay. I'm going to leave them just a second more so I can get that brownness. Okay. And I'm going to pick all these little green centers out. Of my garlic, which like eh, I don't seem to really tend, seem to really have any in these ones or something. I don't know. Sometimes you get green things that grow out of them, and it's like the garlic sprouting, and you don't want that stuff in there, so you pick it out of the middle. That doesn't seem to be in my garlic, so whatever. So let's scooch these. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit, maybe just a medium, and uh, the um, scallops are on a plate, and I'm going to put butter into the pan, and I'm going to scooch it around and get all the brownness from the scallops gathered up, like with the butter. And it's like, let it spread around the pan. And then, um, you're going to mince your garlic. Let's see, I'm going to Okay. Yep. And, yep, it wants you to scrape, like, all the brown leftovers from the scallops into the butter. Okay, and this is the butter. Don't turn it too brown or brown really at all. Um, you want to add in the garlic and cook it until fragrant. So I'm going to get my garlic press. I use Pampered Chef and then got like this cool little comb thingy to press out the rest of the garlic after you're done. So I'm just going to press everything in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, that, and this is might be like the last batch. Oh no. 
Okay, there's the garlic. There you go, and then just scrape whatever is left off on your of your um garlic from your press, like with your uh, spatula or whatever. I'm trying to scrape all this brown stuff from the uh, scallop. That's pretty fragrant. So I am going to I think pour wine in. Yeah. So you can use wine, white wine, cooking wine, or broth, and that is about a quarter cup, which I'm going to get. I have this cooking wine, I just get it from King Supers, they have it in the baking section, the baking aisle, or whatever, the cooking baking aisle. Alright, pour that in there. Come on, get in there. There we go, and that's like making it cool down a bit, and it's simmering, and then, you want to add a cup of heavy cream, and allow it to simmer until lightly thickened after about two minutes of cooking the wine when it like is reduced to about half. So I'm gonna wait till this is like a little bit reduced. And then I'm gonna get a cup of cream. That shouldn't take long. Mm, a cup of cream. Okay, it's good. Um, always um, check your ingredients. Like cream stays good for a really long time, but you never know. Some people, manufacturers could be faulty or something and like they dated it wrong or who knows. So I taste my cream. Like I always taste things like before I serve them. I always taste like my batters before I bake them, stuff like that. It's just like a key rule that you should follow. Okay, and now my wine is about half reduced. I'm gonna pour in this cup of cream. And that. There's that, and it says to um, simmer the cream until slightly thickened. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to stir it so it's blending a bit. Okay, and while that's happening, I am going to make my um, broccoli rice. And um, I have a blender over there. And with broccoli rice, you can just um, basically just cut up, up, cut up in bits. I'm gonna cut off all these little like extra little leafy things because I don't know. That's what I feel like. Uh, I don't really want them in there. But um, for broccoli rice, it's kind of like cauliflower rice. You just like. Um, Trim it up the way you like, and um, you can put all or little or none or whatever, however much of the stems you want in there. Um, I just pick off all these little leafy things because I don't like them. I don't know. And here's that. Here's that. Okay, here's some more broccoli. And I just cut off like the ends of the um, stalk so that it's just like a fresh cut and not like all just gross and like old from whenever whoever cut it that harvested it or whatever the case is. 
and just cut off all these leafy thingies. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you think it is. I already have like a saucepan um, kind of warmed up over there for my broccoli. And um, I'm just going to like chop it kind of like in half. And maybe like in half again like long ways or something. And just kind of chop it up a little bit so that like it can fit in my blender better. And there we go. Just chop it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Let's put that on low for a second just so I can get this done. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to just, like, let that simmer for a second so it thickens a little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to put our broccoli in our Ninja Blender. We have a Ninja Blender that has like a multi-tiered um, blade. I um, almost bought a um, cauliflower ricer from Kohl's, and it was manual, and it was just like a multi-tiered blade, just like my Ninja Blender. So I was like, I don't need to waste money on that. I'm just going to use my Ninja Blender. So, I mean, just fit whatever you can in there. And, um, then, there's the right one. Take it, plug it in. And then, like, what I do is, like, I plug it in. I take it, and since I have this kind of blender that I can just pick up and do whatever, I kind of like shake it around a little bit, just like for a second while I'm blending it, and then um, it should be done. Like it should just be like little pieces, kind of like rice or something like that. All right, wait a minute. Some got stuck. There we go. There we go. And yeah, if the pieces are still like too big or something like that, do it a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I'm just gonna do. Um, and I still shake it up, you know. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna put bacon in here, but my bacon was too old. So, and I didn't get any more today, so I guess we're just skipping that part. And um, I'm going to put a tiny bit of uh, water in the bottom of my pan. And it's probably going to be like a quarter cup or a third cup, somewhere around there. Uh, ah, yeah, am. Not too much. And, um, I'm going to get my lid. This one? No. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So, dump some broccoli and rice in there. And then continue to, um, Make the rest of it. Okay. Oh. It'll fix. It'll whatever. It'll do whatever when it starts going. It'll be okay. I'm just gonna pour that in there. All right. Then let's do this. This. And this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Just put it in there. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. That looks right. Come on, there's still some uh, big chunks in there. Gosh. Okay. Let's try one more time. I'm making a mess. Oh my gosh, this broccoli's going everywhere. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that looks better. And like, put it all in there. There we go. And, um, then it has the water at the bottom of there. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more, maybe. Okay. Then, I am going to, where's my butter? Put like a uh, half a stick of butter in there. I'm going to cut it up in slices so that it melts easier in there. Mm-hmm. I might put a little more than a half stick. We'll see. Let's see what we feel like and what goes on. Yeah, we might need them a little more than a half stick. So I'm going to get this other quarter stick here. Yeah. Just throw it in. Why not? Okay. Then, I'm going to do like a bit of salt. Maybe like a teaspoon. Teaspoon and a half. And I'm going to crack black pepper. I'm going to wash my hands. And just do like half a teaspoon or something like that. Just depends how much broccoli you have. And um, then uh, we already got garlic in our uh, stuff for the uh, salad. So I'm stirring over here. It's thickened pretty good. Okay. Alright. Then I'm going to cover the um, broccoli rice because I'm going to let the water in the bottom of there steam it. Okay, and then, let's see. So, then we get back to our scallops. And after the um, cream has thickened over there in the pan, I'm going to turn it back up to the medium kind of. Um, slightly thickened. And then you remove it from the heat. Um... Stir in a tablespoon of lemon juice, so it's simmering right now. Where's my lemon juice? I have it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, I'm going to get, like, my little handy guy. That's like a multi-measure. It can go from a teaspoon all the way to a tablespoon. I get it from Pampered Chef. And... I am going to take this off the heat for a second because it said to. And then I'll put it here on my um, cutting board. And add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Okay, there's that. And then you want to add your scallops back to this mixture. So that they get warmed up again. And um, I'm going to do that here in a second. I'm probably going to let this um, simmer a little bit more and thicken up a little bit more. Um, and uh, I need to let the uh, broccoli cook. You probably let the broccoli cook for like maybe like 7 to 10 minutes. Like a couple minutes ago maybe. So then... Um, I'll put my scallops back in the sauce to, um, warm them back up and then after, um, they're warmed up and the, um, broccoli rice is cooked, um, it'll be ready to serve up. I have these little keto rolls that I made out of, like, egg and flour and, um, some, um, psyllium husks and whatnot and, um, this is a total keto-friendly 
me off for my boyfriend because he's trying to diet and lose some weight. So we're helping him out, right? This is how your plate looks. Broccoli, rice, scallops, and roll. And I'm going to add a little parmesan to it. Just to make it, like, just that better. Just, it's going to eat a yeah, parmesan on my garlic creamy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you have any suggestions or questions or recipes you'd like to see, email me at sandranakedchef.llc at gmail.com.